So about a week ago, I made a video where you guys put in your questions for me to answer as a celebration of reaching 500 subscribers. And now, I finally get to answer all of them. Thanks to those who have asked their questions either on YouTube or Instagram. Now before we dive into it, this Q&A will be divided into two parts. The first being the questions asked on YouTube, and the second via Instagram. Now for our very first question, this one's related to tournaments, but what is the most competitive combo that you used on your own? It would have to be Perfect Phoenix Double Zero Proof Extend Plus in Stamina Mode, as well as Judgment Achilles Blitz Destroy Dash Mitsu. I was able to come third place for both combos. In all tournaments I entered so far, third place is the highest ranking I ended up with. I started playing competitively during the burst era as there wasn't that many tournaments being held in my local area during the Metal Saga. Also, I didn't know that much about the WBO and there were barely any on YouTube that I could enter back then. Question number 2. Who is your waifu and favourite Metal Fight combo? My favourite Metal Fight combo is Lightning Eldrago, ED145, RDF. It's not the best combo competitive wise but it's super fun to battle with. As for my waifu, I don't really have one as I'm not a regular anime watcher, but if I had to choose, probably Sasha from AOT because we both have the same appetite. Question number 3. Out of all the Beyblades you own, which one's your favourite? Dranzares, the original, not the best remake. Ever since I saw it while watching the first episode of Beyblade on my iPad back in 2011, I've always wanted to get my hands in that bay. Fortunately enough, it came true about six years later. Question number four. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. What's your favorite HMS Beyblade? Definitely Dragoon MSUV. It's one of my all time favorites and I wish I can own one soon. I just need to pray that I can win a lottery or something so that dream can eventually happen. Number six. Are left spin Beyblades the only ones that have the ability to spin steel or can right spin bays do it too? That is a really good question, but to answer that, no, left spins aren't the only ones. Right spin bays can actually spin steel too. The only reason why most people assume that only left spins can is because they were the first ones to have rubber around its contact points to help it equalize its spin better. The concept of spin stealing only happens in opposite spin matchups. The most effective spin stealer is one that has a round and fairly low recoil shape includes rubber at its main contact points, has great stability, good stamina, and high life after death properties regardless of its spin direction. For instance, if you gave Belial the F gear and Drift for its driver, while its opponent is Mirage Fafnir with Fusion for its driver, of course Belial has a greater chance of winning. Even if Fafnir can equalize its spin effectively due to the rubber being present around the layer, its balance isn't as good. This in turn can reduce stamina as it can't stay upright to maintain consistent contact with the opposing bay. Number 7. What is your favourite Beyblade series? My all time favourite is Beyblade G Revolution, but to be more specific, my favourite series in each generation would be G Rev for Plastic Gen, Metal Masters for the Metal Saga, and the first season of Beyblade Burst. Question 1. What got you into Beyblade? At the time, the two toys I liked were Lego and Cars. Although I really liked them, there was still something missing. Beyblade seemed to fill that void as it intersected the elements of those two toys into one thing. What made Beyblade so special for me was it gave me a rush of adrenaline whenever there was a battle, and on top of the ability to customize parts and make your own combos, it was a match made in heaven. But in all honesty, I first got into Beyblade as it was the biggest trend in school at the start of the year. Number 2. Did you receive a giveaway prize from Ramp Hobbies? Yes I did, just recently. I made an unboxing of it that I uploaded a while ago. This was definitely the biggest Beyblade giveaway that's occurred in quite a while, and I did hear that many still haven't received their prize months after the announcement. Mine did take a while though, but I'll admit it was well worth the wait. Now for our final question in this Q&A, what was your first Takara Tommy Beyblade? It was actually two, Fang Leon and Eldragor Destroy. They were both a gift from my uncle. I apparently was also going to receive Big Bang Pegasus, but it was out of stock at the time. 
As I lived in Australia, we mainly get Hasbro Beyblades, so owning a Takara Tommy one was a pretty big deal back then. And it is still now. Now I'd just like to give a massive shout out to Bayfinity. He said I don't have any questions but just want to say how awesome and knowledge filled your videos are. Thank you so much man, it means a lot to me. I always try my best to put in as much effort as I can in all of the videos that I've uploaded so far. And I'm glad that you all enjoy them. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and thanks again to those who have put in your questions and statements. As always, see you in the next one, take care.